Let's take a look at the full Windsor knot. In beginning, make sure you give yourself a lot of leeway on the thicker end of the tie as it takes 10 total movements to perform this knot. Start off with the thick end pulling it over the thin end and directly up through the neck hole. Then pulling it downwards and behind the thin end. Then taking the thick end and pulling it back through the neck hole and pulling it downwards diagonally. Now from this position you'll take the thick end and pulling it over top of the thin end creating the hole to create the knot. Then pull the thick end upward through the neck hole and then directly downwards to finish off the knot. And be sure to create a dimple when tightening up the knot. The full Windsor knot will generally be used in a formal business setting and you will also find it in classier events such as a gala. You should be pairing the full Windsor knot with a spread collar or a cutoff collar, generally because it is a much thicker knot and it won't do well with a thinner pressed collar. 